For our students enrolled in multiple courses, training bundles, or technology certificates, VDCI CAD Teacher provides you access to Autodesk software through the Autodesk Education Experience. As a nationally accredited institution, VDCI CAD Teacher is recognized by Autodesk to be a qualified educational institution and as such has been approved by Autodesk to offer you access to the educational experience software, which you will need for your training purposes. You will have three years of free access to the software. This software can only be used for educational purposes. Free Autodesk software and or cloud-based services are subject to acceptance of and compliance with the terms and conditions of the Autodesk software license agreement or terms of service that accompany such software or cloud-based services. Software and cloud-based services subject to an educational license may be used only for educational purposes. When you log into the VDCI portal and your class in the portal, you will see a section called Access to Autodesk Software. This is the guidance that tells you what to do and what software to load if you're a single enrollment student or if you're a multiple course training bundle or technology certificate student. There are download instructions. We're going to go through that right now. Before you begin your downloads, go to the start icon, choose the right button, and go up to power options. Then please go over to change when the computer sleeps and make sure that the computer never sleeps. Because when you do the download, you don't want the computer to go asleep while you're downloading the software. We've now gotten the back of house information done and it's time to begin downloading the software. So I've gone to Google and I've typed in Autodesk Education and I'm going to select this option here, Free Student Software Downloads. You can see that these are all the titles that are available for you to use from Autodesk. And again, you have three years of free access to the title, and the software is only to be used for educational purposes. The example I'm going to use is AutoCAD, so I will go right here under AutoCAD, and I will click with the left button. Now I need to create an Autodesk account. If I already have an account, I sign in, Otherwise, I need to create an account. So I'm going to choose Create an Account. The first thing I need to do is to answer some questions. I will slide down and choose United States as my country. My role is that of a student. And then my birth date. I'm going to say that I'm June 12th. I'm going to say 1990 and then go Next. I now need to fill out the information. So I'm going to pause the video while I complete that information, and then I will be clicking that I agree, and then I will create my account. So again, my first name, last name, email address, confirm my email address, and my password. And you want to use your personal email address for this, not your company, you want to use your personal because this is your Autodesk account that will stay with you for your entire professional career. There's a lot of really good things that happen in the Autodesk community. Autodesk is now sending me a verification email, so I need to go into my email interface and open the email. I've now received my verification email from Autodesk, so I will click here to verify. And I'm ready to go. I'm going to choose Done and I have to answer all of these questions. I will put in the name of the educational institution, so I can type in CAD Teacher, or I could type in VDCI, or I could type in CAD Teacher VDCI, or if I'm an undergraduate, for example, in one of the UC courses, I could type in UC San Diego. But I'm gonna keep mine as CAD Teacher, Just going to click out here, accept that, 
architecture. I'm going to say that I'm enrolling from June of 2016 to June of 2017. Again, I'm just choosing dates arbitrarily, but again, what you want to do is if you're in a training bundle, you want to put in the first day of your training bundle and then the ending date of your training bundle. I'll now go next. It says it can't find the school name. Again, we're new to the system. It takes them a little while to update their records. So I'm just gonna say, add it to our records. And so I'll just type in CAD teacher. Institution type, I'll keep that blank right now. San Diego, California. I'll go add, add it to their records, add. I'll just go down to next, and now it's saved. I go to continue. I now need to sign into my Autodesk account. I'll then choose next, put in my password, sign in, and I'm in. So my account name is up here. I'm going to go over to the menu, going to go over to downloads, free student software. I'm going to choose AutoCAD. I will click over here on the right hand side of this blue bar and I need to select my version. I'm going to choose AutoCAD 2018, my operating system 64-bit and my language. You can see right here is the serial number and the product key. I would recommend writing those down. You will need to know that information when you actually launch the software for the first time. Autodesk will send you an email with this information, but I just like to write mine down so I can have it. So again, serial number, product key. I'm then going to go over and choose Install Now. I have to accept the agreement to install. You can see that there's going to be downloading an executable file. So I'm going to save the file. Then you can see the status right here, down here on the bottom left. I can run it and say open. And it's installing it, showing the installation progress. After a couple of seconds, I see this option for install. I will click on install and let it go. So welcome to class. We're really glad that you're here. Hope you learn a whole lot. Our instructors love working with everybody. And again, welcome to CAD Teacher VDCI and enjoy your educational Autodesk software.